movers are gonna be here in 20 minutes. Oh, oh, oh. I got like four hours of sleep. I was supposed to be up like an hour ago because I still need to pack a couple of more items. And then I ran out of packing tape last night. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Tisha. I am 34 years old and I live by myself in New York City with my dog Chape. After weeks of apartment hunting and last minute packing, the big day is finally here. We are moving to a new apartment and I'm so excited for this fresh start. So last time where we left off is still the same. So I still have boxes to tape up and I still have my bathroom to pack as well over here. Over here. Tension not you, mommy. Yeah, move over there. Sabi move for some other salmon. Dress not you. Go to bed. Bye, mamu. Love you. Bye. So my mom is in Australia right now, and she could not sleep because she's stressing about the move. Even though I can't pack anything right now, at least I'm gonna sort it out. And that way, uh, when the movers are here, I'll just put it up in the boxes and tape it up. Are the movers here? Okay, the movers are here. Oh, it's just 8.46. They were supposed to be here at 9. You guys have extra tape too? I can tape up. Oh. oh, thank you. Yeah, I forgot to label it. You guys are very quick. <laughs> yeah. Should we want more slow? No, 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 no. This is so freaking quick. I know I keep saying it. It's just been five minutes and almost all the boxes are out. It's just 8.59 and it's already almost empty. This is my third time moving with Vector Moving. For my first move to New York City from New Jersey and also for my apartment prior to that within New Jersey, Vector Moving was the one who handled the entire moving process. My sister Patricia and my friend Double, whenever they have to move, they always use Vector Moving services. In addition to taking really good care of my furniture items as well as appliances, they taped up all the open boxes, which was quite a lot since I ran out of packing tape very last minute. They packed up all the miscellaneous items, my plans and my photo frames. They managed to do all of this while still being so quick and efficient. It's done, it's packed up. It's all empty. I now have to come back to clean and everything, but just seeing the apartment empty, it just feels so weird. Okay, right, let's go. So we're getting coffee and then food for the moving team. I'm already huffing and puffing, just coming up once. I just feel so bad for the moving team because it's a lot of stairs a lot the movers came up and we quickly discussed on where exactly everything should be placed moving is a very daunting and stressful event and having a moving company that is trustworthy and who makes the process seamless makes a huge difference to your moving experience all the plants survived Guilty and useless. I'm not doing anything. I'm just on the side, just standing. Yeah, just on the side. No, that works. Oh, because that's why I was wobbly at my old desk. I didn't realize that. Thank you. If you live in tri-state area and you're looking for a moving company, then I highly recommend to check out Vector Moving. And again, thank you so much to Vector Moving team for making this process seamless and stress-free. It's around noon now and they're already done. And this place is a fifth floor walk-up, a steep fifth floor walk-up. <sighs> At least one part of this moving series is not chaotic and stressful. And all the credit goes to Vector Moving team. I'm so hungry. Like, I feel like crashing right now. I don't know when I'm gonna get through all these boxes. Plus, I have work tomorrow. I should have just taken a day off. 
I sat at the couch for like good two hours. The sun feels so good. Since my old apartment didn't get sunlight, this feels really good. And I can't wait for Chappie to see the apartment because he will love sunbathing on the couch. It is so quiet up here. Since my old apartment is street facing, it's on the first floor. I could hear everything. And here, since I'm on the fifth floor and the street is very quiet as well, this quietness feels so weird. I'm not used to it. It's like been drop silence well beside the radiator making noises here and there i can't hear the neighbors plus it's on the fifth floor so no one's above me either this is so weird this is like an awkward silence and i don't know what to do with it like i want to play music but i can't play music right now because i only have 16 percent left and at the end i don't know where exactly i stuffed in my phone charger i was thinking today to go to my old apartment complete cleaning in that way the only thing that's pending is handing over the keys i don't think so i have energy to go back to the old apartment and clean i think i'm just gonna put away my coats and then my fancy dresses so whatever hold on there's one I say open ASAP, ASAP. Box number eight. This was one of my birthday outfits. I got this for my 32nd birthday. I need to go out more often to wear all these beautiful dresses. So my sister packed up all my dressy dresses, coats, anything that could get spoiled. She's the one who packed it because she packs it very, very well, not like me. And she even packed these bags as well. And look at this. She matched all the socks too. These were not paired because I just got back from laundry. Sorry, my sister is the best. I'm like her adopted child. So I was charging my phone as well as battery for my vlogging camera till the last minute. And I wasn't really sure where I kept it. And then I remember that the movers had marked one box for electronics. So what they did was at the end, whatever electronics that they found, they just kept it in one uh, box. Everything is here. I was just not using my brain. Yay, it's charging finally. I only had 1% left. is my oldest sister Maggie, Patricia and that's me. I'm just trying to put things out that makes the place feel homey. So I already took out this photo of my mom and dad and now my sisters. My first night Last night was all right. It was kind of hot, so I left the windows in the living room open. The windows in the bedroom doesn't stay open. Probably have to get something like wood or something to keep the windows open. So it's Monday morning now. I just wrapped up my first call for work. It was at 9 a.m. and it was painful. 9 a.m. is always hard, but 9 a.m. on Monday after the move, it's at a whole different level. I'll see after work today if I can go to my old apartment to clean up. And also I need to take out the wallpaper too. But the first night was all right. I kept my lights on in the living room, not living room, in the bedroom. Whenever I'm spending my first night somewhere that I'm not familiar with, I always keep my uh, lights on. I just get scared. And eventually once I get comfortable, I turn it off. It's like boxes everywhere. I've set up my work desk too. I kind of did, but then at the end I stopped last night because I was getting tired. And it's so nice to have my windows open like this. It's these small things make a huge difference, you know? So I just dropped up work and I'm back in my old apartment to take out the wallpaper on the door as well as the one over there on the fridge. Done with the fridge as well as the door. The fridge 
took me such a long time. I think it took me like around 20 minutes for some reason. Door was done in like five minutes. <laughs> Ashanti's here. She's Hello. helping. <laughs> She's helping me with the kitchen. Oh, I was about to leave it for the next tenant actually. This one? Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering. I'm like, that doesn't look like trash. No, this is for rodents. Because the ones I had is old, so I was thinking to switch it up. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Right? So I haven't mopped for like three weeks and this is the regular dirt level. I'll insert pictures of how I had received the apartment and when I had complained about it. They told me that since I live on the first floor apartment beside the street, the apartment is bound to get dirty and they did clean the apartment before giving it to me, which was a huge lie. So it's matcha latte with no brown sugar bubble. tea latte. No, no boba. boba. This is waste. We have to get a second boba now. <laughs> we could. I'm not opposed. I'm not the right person to run this by. I mean, I just wouldn't drink this one. I would drink the one with the boba. What? And what are you going to put in the fish? Yeah. Just drop it, it's okay. I'm not in the way. Yeah, drop it. Okay, we are done here. Let's go, la. We have the same one. Looks good. The apartment is clean, done. End of the chapter. Girl, we started together with this. We cleaned together, moving in, Beginning and now in the end. we finished it so quickly. It was less dirty, so of course it was so much quicker. We are done. Leaving the AC behind, I was debating if I should take it or not. I'm leaving it for the next tenant. And I'm leaving all the, what's it called? Uh, privacy screen, the curtains as well. I'm heading to my old apartment to hand over the keys. So the building management guy is not the one who's doing the checkout, the super would be. So I did call the building management, oh, the, the sun, hold on. So I did call the building management guy yesterday because the agreement when the whole mold issue had happened was that he will do the checkout and ensure that I don't get charged for anything as such. I'm not anticipating to get charged for anything, but still, I did tell him that right after the super is done with the apartment checkout, I do want an email to be sent by the building management guy confirming that it's done. City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of I just handed over the keys <clears throat> and to celebrate this, I got tiramisu ice cream. It is so cold right now and ice cream is not the smartest choice. A couple of updates. So the super checked out the apartment. He confirmed that everything looks good. We texted the building management guy. I called the building management guy after that. While the building management guy was typing his email to me, I stayed on the call. I stayed on the call until he sent the email and then I requested him to add on the email that there'll be no charges to me. We're still not done yet though. There is still gas bill that needs to be credited whoever has been following me since last year you guys know what i'm talking about if you're new here though all of these issues back and forth is all in my old vlogs and it's not in one consolidated video it's spread across basically because i was vlogging as things were happening just a quick uh i guess synopsis for the gas bill so my current apartment so my not my current sorry my old apartment the heat and Hot water is included. My stove is electric, not gas. But I've been getting charged for the gas ever since I moved. But nothing in my apartment utilizes gas. When I had reached out to them, they told me they will refund me, like credit me. But I kept following up that it never happened. So seeing how they were dealing with this whole situation, plus the mold situation, I felt they would not return my security deposit. Because even for the mold issue, they kept denying, denying. And then later on, they agreed that if I do their 
mold test and if mold appears in that test then they'll take some action first time around when i did their mold test mold was there they said it's probably a fluke i did the second round of mold test it was still there and at the end they said they're not going to take any action and if i don't feel comfortable i can move out and i can break my lease there'll be no penalty for breaking my lease plus my deposit will be returned completely after that is when i dropped the mold issue prior to that i was very very persistent and beside that too there were a number of issues with the apartment another thing what i had done was that when i was paying my rent for december i actually deducted whatever they owe me i didn't really want to do that but then i kept following up with them for months but the lady from the building management did not respond to my email at all up until i sent her the note that i deducted whatever they owe me around like 400 dollars it was like three something from the rent then only she responded back she told me i shouldn't have done that and she needs to review the bills i need to send over the bills to her and i'd already sent her the bills twice beforehand for her review then i sent it to her again what she ended up doing was she ended up charging me for whatever i had deducted i again followed up with her a couple of days ago i sent her the photo of my stove letting her know like hey what in my apartment utilizes gas they agreed to remove the charges from my account, whatever she had charged to me. The only thing that's pending is my December gas bill, January gas bill, and February gas bill. And today's checkout was such a huge relief. So what the lady from the building management told me was that once the whole checkout is done, basically whatever is pending amount, she'll send me a check for that. Again, no complaints about the supers. Both the supers that I that I had, they were amazing. And now the only thing pending is the three gas bills and we are done. We are done with this chapter finally. Today, when I was walking around the neighborhood, as well as when I was giving the keys to the super, I was feeling a bit emotional leaving my first New York City apartment. Even though I had so many up and downs with this place, it still holds a very special place in my heart. This whole process has been so stressful, but I'm very proud of myself for not being a pushover. I want to say thank you so much for all the love and support. I don't think so I would have been able to deal with all of these issues if it wasn't for you guys or for my sisters and my friends. So I really appreciate all the love and support and for being here. Thank you for watching, liking and subscribing. With this, I will end the vlog here. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and support the channel. If you have an Instagram, my Instagram is Tisha Shreshta and I will see you guys in my next one.